Holy Wormod here with tutorial 6 in the How to Build series where we're going to be taking a look at getting the rotations per minute, miles per hour, and kilometers per hour on a rotating wheel such as this, which is very useful if you have a custom car and you're looking to make a speedometer. So let's start by getting the input, which is going to be wheel. And that's type entity. Then we're going to have rotation per minute, miles per hour, and kilometers per hour as well. Now we have the radius here. Now the first thing we're going to be doing in this if first or dupe statement is we're going to be looking for the radius. So first we're going to use find by model and that's from tutorial 14a in the expression 2 series. So we're going to have models hunter tubes and circle two by two and model. So that's going to be the model of the wheel which is next to me spinning right now. The reason it's spinning so much is because it doesn't have any friction. So let's print out the wheel just to make sure that we have the right string. Okay, everything's good. So now let's get the radius of that wheel. To do that, we're going to use round, then we're going to use two unit, which is from unit conversions, tutorial 23, expression two series where we convert from Gmod units to miles per hour, or miles, not miles per hour. We're going to get to the miles per hour part soon. So now let's do the box size, which is going to give us the size of the entity in a vector form, x, y, and z. We just want the x. Since it's a circle, you can use the y too. That's fine. So now let's divide this by 2, because this is giving us a diameter, and this converts it to radius when we divide by 2. So we close that, and Let's put a value 5 for 5 decimal places for the radius. And now let's put a run on tick. I'm going to have 1 right here. And I'm going to put RPM, which is equal to round. That's going to have the absolute value. And we're going to get wheels, angular velocity, just like this, which is going to give us a set of angles. From there, we want the yaw. Divide by 360 because we're dealing with the circle. And this time conversion of 60 is also necessary as well. All right, so now let's get miles per hour. So we start with RPM times the radius we calculated above times 60 for time conversion times 2 pi. That's to convert from radius to circumference. So now we need kilometers per hour. And we have, this is a really simple one. We have miles per hour times 1.61. And that's going to give us all the different values. Okay, so now let's wire everything up. So we're going to put kilometer per hour to kilometer per hour, rotation per minute to rotation per minute, and miles per hour to miles per hour. Now you notice these values aren't updating. Well, we can assign this entity directly right here, like such, and now these values will update accordingly. So when I start to spin the wheel, you see now it's all updating, so let's make it go really fast. And as you can see, everything works perfect. All right, so I hope that answers questions when uh, concerning speedometers and whatnot. If you have any more questions, of course, feel free to leave so in the comments section below. And I'd like to advertise our new Discord server, which the information will be put up on the screen right here. And come join us and talk. We're going to have a bunch of fun and uh, get everybody coming together. But anyway, if you like the material, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.